Hi guys, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this flyer for your church feast event. So without much ado, let's get started. So I'm using a 10 by 10 canvas and I brought in this image, which is just a basic gray image that I have placed in here. And I will make sure that I put a link to that in the description so you can also use it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull this image to the very top and I'm going to make a copy. Command J, make a copy. And I'm going to pull this down like that. And I'm going to go ahead and make another copy. Command J, make a copy and pull that down. Now with the second one, I'm going to add a layer max. And then with my brush, um, I'm going to make sure my foreground and background are black and white by clicking on the arrow. So I'm going to go ahead to paint over to blend the two images in. So I'm going to reduce my brush head using my left and right bracket. And I'm just going to do this. Now I'm going to pick up my move tool and I'm going to go ahead and stretch it even a little bit further. Pick up my brush tool again and then brush over so it blends in well. Now I'm gonna go ahead to just click and delete that. I'm gonna make a copy of this one, Command J, and I'm gonna pull that down so everything blends in very well. Now, what we are going to do is we're gonna go ahead and bring in the bottom image, and I'm just going to drag this image in, which I'll also make available for you to use. Now I'm going to add a layer max by clicking on my layer max icon. I'm going to pick up my brush tool. I'm going to do the same thing to blend the two images in. So I'm just going to blend this in so that you don't see it so visibly where it starts and where it ends. So we have something more like this. So with this set, I'm going to go ahead and begin to type in the information. Now this is going to be very fast and basic. So I'm going to pick up my type tool and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use BBuzz font and I'm going to go ahead and type in back. And I'm going to highlight, flip my foreground so it picks up on the white and I'm just going to go ahead to add the word church, back to church. Since we've been in a pandemic, there's a lot that has gone on and I'm just creating a space in between. Now you can have two separate ones and put it next to each other, but I'm just going to do it like that and space it out evenly. And notice that I have my guideline, so it's snapped to the middle. Now I'm gonna make a copy of this. So make a selection of your layer, Command J, make a copy, pull that down, and I'm just going to type this into and I'm going to go ahead and highlight and we're going to change the font of that to Agagi Pro and I'm just going to go ahead and scale that down a little like that and I'm going to set that right in the middle reduce it a little set that right there and I'm just going to add a little bit of a shadow effect so double click on your layer it will bring up your layer style. You can add a drop shadow and you can go into your drop shadow and then just play with it. And I'm just going to change the angle a little, increase a bit of the spread. I'm going to go ahead to click OK. Now I'm going to go to my shape. I'm going to pick a clip shape. Just draw any a clip shape that you want or the size. Come to your fill. I'm going to choose the cyan to fill that in. And I want to make sure my stroke is empty. So click on your stroke and then you want to uncheck it. Now, if you don't see your property bar when you create your shape, you need to go under window and you will locate your property right there. Now, I'm going to move this layer and I'm going to set it right there. I'm going to go ahead to select it again and rotate it a bit like that and I'm going to go into my layers panel and I'm going to move this layer so it's beneath all the text so we have back into church so with this set we want to go ahead and add the word feast so I'm going to go ahead to click on my text 
my type tool and I'm going to type in feast with my lower case. Now I'm going to go ahead and make this big by clicking on my move tool and I'm just going to set that right there. Now you can choose to make the feast a capital. Um, you can choose to make the feast all caps or lower case. So in this case, I'm going to leave it uppercase and I'm going to go ahead to add the same drop shadow that I have on the enter. Now, I don't need to recreate my drop. I don't need to recreate my drop shadow. I can copy the layer style on my into text and apply it to my feast. So I'm just going to right click and I'm going to go ahead and say copy layer style, right click on my feast and then go ahead and say paste layer style. Now you notice that it just added it right away. So with this set, we're going to go ahead and pick up our shape tool, our rectangle shape tool. Now I'm going to go ahead and just draw a quick rectangle and we are going to fill this in with white. And you want to make sure that your stroke is empty. Now, because it's white with a white stroke, it doesn't really matter. You don't have to change it. But if it was a different color, then you would have to. Now, I'm going to pick up my type tool and I'm just going to click and I'm going to change my color. I'm going to choose the orange in the feast or in the image. And I'm just going to go ahead and type in whole fish for the whole family. And I'm going to go ahead to highlight. Now I'm going to choose a different font. I'm going to go with a dazzle on, on case. And I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I choose a medium bold text. And I'm going to move this and set that right there. Now, all I have to do is reduce it a little so it fits within my boundary. And you can see that I have some space on both sides. Now, I can go ahead, once I have it set, I can go into my property, my VA, and I can space out my text a little. And then I can go ahead to basically center it like that. So with this set, what we want to do is that we want to go ahead and add the name of the church. So I'm going to go ahead to uh, change my font, my text color, and I'm just going to go ahead to type in So with this set, we are going to go ahead to add the date and time of event. I'm going to go ahead and make a selection of this text. So command J, make a copy, double click on it. And I'm just going to type in November 14th and I'm going to use my move tool. I'm going to go ahead and scale it down and we can set it right there or we can set it right here. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to go ahead and set it right here. And as you can see, it's aligned. Now we want to make a copy of this for the date, so for the time. So make sure you have that layer selected. Command J, make a copy, pull that down and you can change this to whatever you want. Now I'm going to make another copy of this. I'm going to make a copy command J so I can use that to type in 30 AM. Now this is too big in terms of the distance. So we are going to use the AA to basically reduce the space in between our, so I'm just going to do that and I'm going to scale it down and we are going to move that. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. And we are going to scale this down and set that right there. Double click, move it out, and there we go. Now we can go ahead and basically link all of the, so select this, hold down shift, select the other one, select the date. You can go ahead and right click and say link layer. So now if I move, if I wanna move the full 
date and time, I can select it and I can move it out. So it's easier to work with it that way. Go back and pick up your shape tool, your rectangle, and we are going to just put the date right on top of the food like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and choose any color of my choice. I'm going to go with a black. So go back to your fill, change that to a black. Now we want to make sure our stroke is empty so we don't see any white border around our shape. So once I come out, you see how it looks. Now we want to go ahead and add in the address. So as I always do, I'm going to make this up. So I'm going to choose a good font. So I'm just choosing this font and I'm going to type in Thousand Oaks. So once you have all your designs set, you want to click on your top layer, hold down shift option, command E. You want to make one file. Now you want to go under your filter and you want to go ahead and choose camera raw filter. Now, once you have your camera raw filter showing up, if you want to bump up the colors, all you need to do is I'm going to take back the temperature. So I get almost like a blue ish color. I'm going to increase my contrast like that. Now I'm going to go under my vibrance and I'm going to increase it like this and I'm going to take my saturation even up. So you can see that I'm bumping up the colors. I can increase my, my vibrance and bring this back a little and then increase my contrast. So you get this nice effect. Now I can take back my temperature or increase it a little so that basically is adding something of a punch to the design. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So now this is what we have. Now, if I want to change the blue to, a, if I want to change the cyan to a blue, all I have to do is turn this off, go ahead and locate my shape, click on my shape and then choose a red. So I'm going to go ahead to choose this red and I'm going to go ahead to click OK. And I'm going to go back to my top layer, make the same copy, Shift, Option, Command, E. Now I'm going to go back and apply the same camera roll effect by just clicking on the camera roll at the top because Photoshop have saved the last settings that I had. So once you click on that, watch what happens. Now this is fun. Fantastic. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please share this with others so they can also learn and benefit from it. So till I see you guys again. Bye all.